husband needs me. And I need to return that need, right? He should be waiting for me. He's expecting you. We're trying to see a professional to help us settle back into each other. Nice. And this thinking I deserve you could make communication difficult with mm -hmm. him. The play is about a family. It's about the struggle for the woman in the family to have a child and the complexities that come along with her not being able to. My younger sister, Angela Lewis, play, who plays Lena, um, is the surrogate for me. And she and my husband decide to, uh, well actually we all decide that she will, that they will conceive the child the old fashioned way. And so the play begins. In the meanwhile, there is a sort of um, contamination, virus, some sort of sickness going around, and so they're trying to figure out what's going on with that. The play kind of deals with a lot of layers of how to navigate that, the birth of a child, the intensities of a marriage. Um, so that, that's kind of a, a brief summation of uh, how things go. For the rest of it, you just need to come. When I first received the play, <clears throat> uh, it was so sparse, the writing was, and I, and I just was like, how did she get a story into, into such, you know, um, scaled down writing, just very lean, very lean her writing was, and that's what intrigues me about it. A few of the things I was thinking about um, was uh, the African American body in storytelling and the different ways of telling the story, uh, using language, uh, humor, drama, and also movement to uh, tell a story and to heighten the drama. Um, another issue I want to look at is the definition of family. There's a sense of responsibility for yourself and responsibility in, in um, the term legacy and what that means and being responsible to things that are coming behind you and also being responsible to, to your family. You know, so responsibility is a big word. I wanted to live in the shoes of a woman who is not able to have that child, have a child because it's something that I take for granted, I've taken for granted. And um, I know women today who have had that trouble, who have had the, the emotional strain on pull, pull on them that not being able to have a child. I don't have the vocabulary to tell you how wonderful LaShawn's is and I was absolutely thrilled when I heard that she accepted the offer um, and from day one of rehearsal she was ready and it was like a hundred and million percent that she was ready in the room and she showed me so much about the character. Everyone is exceptional I believe. It's a very strong cast. Everyone has an equally important part in the piece, and um, and everyone brings their their best. And you feel that on stage. You really feel like you're part of an ensemble. When one person's a little off, we all feel it. You can expect wonderful performances, top-notch performances. Uh, you can expect a couple of laughs. You can expect a couple of gasps. Um, a couple of no, he didn't. You know, uh, and you can just expect a really good time. You can expect a lot of heart too, especially from the performers. Uh, the language of the play, the actors in the play, the acting in the play, I think all brings a lot of heart. Well, bring your thinking caps, because you will be challenged to, as, as the writer says, she doesn't want you to sit back in your seat and be comfortable. She wants you to lean forward and be engaged. And you will be leaning forward and engaging in this piece. Was he any good? Oh. The husband. What? When you slept with him. Wasn't that kind of thing? What kind of thing? It was, it was a project, a job. Regardless. He was nervous. I was bugging out. Did you like it? I did. I did. It's kind of fucked up, but I like it. <laughs>